Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up SQL Server on Windows. I will also show you how to set up SQL Server Management Studio, which is a front end graphical user interface for SQL Server. That is where you will be writing all of your queries and querying your databases within SQL Server or connecting to different servers. I will then show you how to get sample data from Adventure Work, the Microsoft default database. I will open Google search SQL Server and select SQL Server Downloads. I'll scroll down to where it says download a free specialized edition. So you have the developer edition which is for a known production environment and you have the express edition which is for development and production environment for your desktop or for the web or if you want to develop small server applications. We're going to be downloading the express edition. Click on download now. SQL Server has downloaded and we are just going to double click on it to launch it. It will ask you if you wanted to make changes to your device. Just click yes and then the installation process will begin. You have three different installation types. Basic installation, custom installation and the option to just download the media. Basic installation will install the SQL Server database engine with default configuration. Custom installation will allow you to go through the SQL Server installation wizard and choose what you want to install. This installation type is detailed and takes longer than running the basic installation. If you just choose to download the media, you will download SQL Server setup files and you can install them later. We are going to select basic installation, read through the license terms and conditions and then click accept. The express edition of SQL Server will be installed in the program files. You could also browse here and change the location. Give it to the default location and click install. installation has completed successfully and the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to install a SQL Server Management Studio, a front-end application for running queries and managing SQL Server. Click on install SQL Server Management Studio, download SQL Server Management Studio, scroll down and click on free download for SQL Server Management Studio. Leave it in downloads folder, it is downloading. SQL Server Management Studio Setup. Double click on this to launch it. SQL Server Management Studio. Leave it in the program files. Click install. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Click yes. Wait for all of the, the packages to finish installing and then we'll proceed to getting the sample database. We want to use our sample database for demo purposes and uh, I'll show you in a second after this finish. Setup completed. All specified components have been installed successfully. So now we have SQL Server 2022 Express Edition and we have SQL Server Management to Studio 19.1. The next thing we're going to do is set up the sample database from Adventure Work. Close this and come to Google and search Adventure Works and select Adventure Works download. Click on the first link Adventure Works sample database SQL Server. On the sample database page, I'm going to scroll down. The prerequisites for the sample databases that you should have. SQL Server, you should have Management Studio. We already have that. So these are the two things that are required for your sample database to work. We have SQL Server 2022. So I'm going to click on the first one, adventurework.back2022. It is about 200 megabytes. We're going to link that to our SQL Server Management Studio. SQL Server Management Studio. Open SQL Server Management Studio. Connect to the server. If you had more servers, you'll see them here. So authentication, we're going to leave it to Windows authentication and then we're going to just click connect. We don't have a database yet, but we are going to be 
connecting to the AdventureWorks database that we just downloaded. To connect to the AdventureWorks database that we just downloaded, I'm going to right click and then I'll go to Restore Database. On the Restore Database window, I'll click Device and then I'll select the three ellipses and it will be a file and I'll click Add and then I'll copy this part. Right click and click copy. Then go to File Explorer. And then I will just paste the part that we just copied and click enter. You don't currently have permission to access this folder. Click continue to permanently get access to this folder. You should click continue and then it will give you access to, to the folder. The folder is empty. So go back to your downloads file. I'm going to open another window for file explorer and I will go to downloads. I'll go to my downloads folder and I will, I will move the AdventureWorks sample database into SQL Server Management Folder File Explorer. So minimize that, minimize this as well. So we just connected to the uh, backup file that we had. So you come here and select backup files. Once you select backup files, your adventureworks 2022.back file will show up here so click it and click ok so here's the path to the adventureworks 2022.back that we just downloaded uh, once you have that ready click ok and click ok database adventure adventureworks 2022 restored successfully i'm going to click ok and here on the left, you can see now we have a database within SQL Server Management Studio. So here's the AdventureWorks and it, it comes with all of the sample data for you to play with. Here are the different tables for the sample data from AdventureWorks. Here are the different views and all of that stuff. If you want to see what is in this human resource folder, you could just right click and select top 1000 this is a full functioning uh, sql database uh, with the sam with sample data i'm going to be showing you how to do different things here in the, in the upcoming videos if you like it please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed subscribe uh, thank you for watching i will see you in the next one